This will be my first ever post on here. But I wanted to share the scariest thing that's ever happened to me. I'll give you some background about my residence etc. I lived in a 1,700 square feet house just me and my GF and a dog, I bought it from my grandparents' estate after they passed away. Anyways. We had been dating for three years and she lived with me. One morning she complained that the covers were being pulled off of her, and that she thought it was me. The next four to five days she complained of the same thing every morning. One morning she told me I had gotten up to go to the bathroom or something and she woke up because she heard the doorknob, and felt me walking on the bed to get in. I did not get up that night and never sleepwalk, so, I was alarmed and decided to figure out a way to try and record video at night to capture me or her or something to explain it. I couldn't figure out a way to record video so I decided audio would have to do. We slept through the whole night and I woke up ready to try and find some sort of explanation in the audio. I listened for about an hour and didn't hear shit. So I got tired and looked at the sound file, I used Gold Wave, I found some spikes where there was some louder noises. One or two was me coughing or some shit. Then there were three others. Two were about one to two seconds and the other one three to four seconds. It was just a weird garbled ass sounding. I don't know. It sounded female whatever it was. It was pretty creepy, but the next event topped everything. We had just bought a car and as soon as I left work we went to the DMV to do all the paperwork and crap. We got home and she got out of the car and walked in. I barely remember anything after this point. What I do remember is hearing her scream, and hearing glass. She was screaming I hate this, I hate the dog it had eaten her shoes. She said she was leaving. The next thing I remember is an image of the dog hunched down scared, behind this bush. After that my girlfriend sobbing and terrified screaming. I realized what I had done. I shot and killed the dog. I can't remember hardly any of it. The breaking glass, her screaming, scared dog, her sobbing and scared. I went to the bedroom and sat on the bed. Staring at the wall. About 45 minutes later I became a little worried I would end up in jail or something so I called her asking her to come back. She refused and I had to convince her. I called some people to figure something out to avoid repercussion. I tried to explain to her what had happened or what I thought happened. Basically that I was possessed. She told me she hadn't actually left and was upstairs looking out the window. Overlooking the backyard, house is L-shaped, she told me I was pale white and holding the gun and basically staring at the ground the whole time. We called her father who is pretty religious. We had no clue what to do. He came and blessed the house and we told whatever it was to leave. I told them about the audio files, and they wanted to listen. And for whatever reason he said to reverse them. We only did on the long one. Now, I don't like telling what we perceived it to say, but I'm not sure how to upload an audio file. I'm limited to my phone. But basically we heard I need you, I'm in trouble. When it was played backwards followed by a static type noise. I recall waking up to what sounds like a person just catching a plastic bag on their foot a number of times in my life. Anyways. That's my story. Can't explain it and never will be able to. I hope this is real. That is creepy shit. I hope everything is okay now. Also I wish this sort of stuff happened to people who don't believe in anything. Or even me. Just so that I have personal proof that there is weird unexplainable shit out there. Real unfortunately. Anyone who can tell me how to get the audio file from my phone, or who wants to receive a copy via email and can post it let me know. Forgive my inability to use this website I'll try and answer any questions. Basically I have never been decided on religion and was told maybe my openness left a gateway open to something. My mom told me maybe the music I listened to. I figured something I could have dragged home from somewhere or something. My GF and I realized we had recently purchased a black candle holder. It held about six candles and was black and very medieval looking. 
dated 1970 something on back. We tossed it. Nothing really happened there since. We broke up. She stayed there for a whole after and never reported anything and still doubts my claims. I've told three people. And you guys. Terrified to go back. Feel bad selling a haunted house or if it's better and selling something I have sentimental value to. Who knows. Someone who wants to post the file make a new email, they won't ever use again and it'll do the same. It'll send the original and reversed version. I should also mention, I lived there full time maybe 4 to 5 years and was there a lot for the entirety of my life prior. My grandparents were the second owners. My mom said she seen a ghost there when she was 18 and that was about it. My brother claimed drunkenly he seen a girl on the stairway landing. I think he was full of shit. He died six months ago in an accident at his home. So I can't ask him. Other people claimed one or two times to maybe have seen something out of the corner of their eye. But it was basically a maybe. And couldn't be confirmed. One friend said something was kind of tossed at him. He'll text him and ask he's probably asleep. But we'll post as I remember crap. Hey he'll take the bait, junk email account. Thanks very much. I'm interested in hearing it. Please. I'm scared. Like, what if listening to the sound file is opening me up to bad things? Likely, how much is depend on how negative you and your surrounding are. Sent to both emails. Like I said it isn't working in my browser but works in my app. If you can post it here that would be awesome. I've shown friends and had mixed opinions but. Yeah. Now, in my family's and some various others Christian beliefs. There are foul spirits that exist in our world and the spirit world. You know, Lucifer cast out and a third of the angels with him. However, those beings have no sovereignty here on our plane because this world was given to man. With that information, it seems that they only gain rights to interfere when we commit an action or something that gives rights to a spirit. So the only way to sever the rights and connection is to use your authority or a higher ones to resend the rights given. Now, as an older adult it would have all sounded like a bunch of hoopla if I hadn't had experiences to back it up. In fact, I'm still skeptical about the fallen angel part but I still believe in the sovereignty. There was a time when I was around 15, moved in with a cousin who was backsliding from the religion and getting involved in a lot of occult things. Things were fine in the house until he decided to buy a series of authentic occult statues and display them around the house. For the months and months afterwards we would be tormented. It started lightly, the feeling of being watched occasionally seeing something out of the corner of our eyes, being a bit more scared when walking in the dark. It progressively got worse. I began having nightmares, and seeing things at night. It got so bad at one point that I'm still not sure what was the nightmare and what I was actually seeing. If I don't reply back my phone's charging. Waiting for reply from the kid who said something was tossed or whatever at him. It's almost like it fucked with others and liked me. I remember a time at my mom's I froze at the computer terrified someone was behind me. Cousins explain it. And I heard the weird plastic bag noises there. Like waking up half asleep to the noise. Not sure if I was dreaming or awake. I remember one of my first night terrors, I went to sleep after a long day of school and work. Had a strange dream about something, can't remember, but I woke up in a cold sweat. I closed my eyes and rolled onto my back, and when I opened my eyes I saw a hat hanging off my ceiling fan with a strangely lit face inside of it staring at me. I was petrified, I stared at it for a long couple of seconds and blinked. It was gone, along with the hat after I opened my eyes. Now it may be important to say that I didn't own any hats at that point. But I walked out into the living room, determined to not sleep. Found my cousin up looking like he'd seen a ghost. I told him what I saw, his eyes opened a little wider but he refused to say that he saw anything. Now I'm not going to go through the lot of the stories, unless you want me to. But through the next three months things got really bad. 
I would hear whispers coming from the attic, see shadows at night, the feeling of someone sitting or standing on my bed. It was at one point or another that I talked to my grandmother and told her. She said in her thick Haitian accent, Aho, you got a demon in your house. She tried to explain it to me, but I couldn't understand a thing. I talked to an uncle after that, who spoke in clear English, and he explained to me that because things were quiet when I got there that it must mean we invited it into the house somehow. I remembered the statues, and it clicked. I immediately rushed him off the phone and grabbed the statues. Feeling more and more fearful as I did, and tossed them off the property. That night was one of the worst, I had a nightmare so real about some kind of ritual. I was clawed in the dream by some demon looking thing and woke up with the claw marks on my chest. I called him the next day and he told me it's not enough to just get rid of them, you've already invited them in. You have to send them out. He came into the house the next day and had us all do a prayer. At this point we were willing to do anything. So we prayed. He had us say things like as the residents of this household, you have no authority to stay here. We break any invitations we might have given by having the statues. He commanded them to leave in the name of Jesus. He blessed the house. I don't know exactly what did it but after that the house was quiet again and I could sleep without having night terrors. But after hearing stories similar to mine, about friends commanding the ghosts to leave because it's their house and other stories similar, I came to believe in the theory of sovereignty, I may have been introduced to it by religion but I think the principle is independent of it. I think otherworldly beings don't have the right to haunt us or the houses we live in unless we give them right. So in your case, with a house like that with all that possible history. You may have a spirit tied in with the property that has taken a liking to you. The blessing may not have worked because the spirit had a right to be there, so you may have to find out why that is and resend it. Yup, call me crazy or whatever. Since you're actually replying make an email and try and post my audio. My emails. Try and send me the file and I'll post it on SoundCloud. Demon stories incoming, I'll try and green text them. So the only entrance to the attic is in my room. I know, weird layout but it's a New York row house. In my room studying one night. This is before things got really crazy. Music in my headphones. Hear my cousin yelling at me. What? I walk out into the living room. Say huh, why are you yelling at me for? Cause you were saying something, I couldn't hear you. Dude, I didn't say anything. I've been studying, must have been the TV. No man, I'm sure. Man, you know I don't sing along to music. He suddenly opens his eyes wide, I assume he heard it again. He mutes the TV. Whispering coming from above us towards the direction of the room. Faint enough to doubt it in hindsight, loud enough to make our hearts drop. It seemed to be moving. What the hell? The sound stopped as soon as he said that. Noped it all the way to the library to study. Weeks pass without hearing any whispers. Then one night I'm laying on my bed reading and I hear the whispers. I get my cousin, he stares me deep in the eyes as he hears it too. Both scared but I'm adamant on investigating. Pull down the attic ladder. Whispers stop. After five minutes it begins again. I make the climb up, primal fear amounting. As soon as I peek my head up there I feel like I'm being watched, whispering stops. I put it down to me being a pussy. Turn on light and walk into attic. One corner looks way too dark for the amount of light present. One more step closer. Shadow moves in the corner of my eye. Cousin screams. Corner no longer dark. We both nope it to a friend's house. He says he saw a shadow in the corner of his eyes. Editor's note. The original SoundCloud files have been deleted, but other Anons posted edited versions of the clips to SoundCloud which are still up. There are three clips, and I'll replay each clip five times in a row. First clip has its speed decreased by 50% and its pitch slightly increased. Oh, <laughs>
Second clip. Its speed has been edited and it's been spliced with the other clip. <laughs> Clip 3. This clip has its audio reversed. <laughs> There is something really off about this thread. I don't know, there just seems like there is something wrong. OP is English your first language? Yes. It is, I don't know any other language. This is all from my phone and there's some autocorrects in places. I was also getting the same feeling. What's going on here OP? You motherfuckers, after listening to the sample several times, I fucking feel a young woman in my room, it's like she's talking to me from behind me, oh god what have you done? I feel it too, everything feels so fucking off right now. <laughs> 